So I had two other projects planned for this video, but neither of them worked. One of them I am going to try to get to work, but the materials for it will not be arriving until the day after this video is uploaded. So today I thought I would do something pretty simple, pretty easy. I've done it before in the past, but I wanted to try to make it better, and I wanted to do it in the simplest way possible. So today I'm going to turn a hairdryer into a jet engine. <laughs> So since I didn't really uh, film the explanation of how this engine works before I assembled it, I decided to reuse some of the old footage from one of my failed projects to explain. So here's past me talking about the basics of a flame tube. So I thought before I put the flame tube together I'd actually explain some of it. And before I do I'd like to give a big shout out and thanks to Tech Ingredients on YouTube for making an incredible video about the subject. So pretty much the way this works is you have three sets of holes. Primary, secondary, and tertiary. Getting bigger as they go down and a fuel injector which goes on the end. While the engine is running, the compressor blows air around the tube in this housing. The pressure then pushes in, oh, goodbye. The pressure then pushes the air through these holes which mixes then with the incoming fuel from the injector. In the first stage, just enough air is mixed with the fuel for it to ignite and burn slightly. In the second stage, the more air is introduced and the burning is complete and in the third stage even more air is introduced which cools the exhaust gases to the point where they will not melt the blades of the turbine. So now that I've built the thing and explained the basics behind it, let's watch it run. What a way to end a video. Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye for now.